Hello mga Kapkit Angels! Welcome back for another Mazinik episode! This is Teacher Mika and this is Teacher Joy Me. Today, we will discuss the first part of our lesson on week 3 of the first quarter, which is the absolute value of a number. After going through this module, you are expected to represent the absolute value of a number on a number line as the distance of a number from zero. So what is absolute value? The absolute value of a number refers to the distance of the number from zero. This means that the absolute value of a number denoted by two bars and is never negative. Note that the absolute value notation is bars, not parentheses or brackets. Use the proper notation. The other notations do not mean the same thing. Let's study an illustrative example by having this bicycle joyride of Mark and Lexi. Mark and Lexi were at Derek's house. Lexi rode her bicycle three miles west of Derek's house and Mark rode his bicycle three miles east of Derek's house. Who traveled a greater distance from Derek's house? Is it Mark or Lexi? I will give you 10 seconds to answer this on your own. Do you now have your answer? Okay, so based on the picture, we can see that Mark and Lexi both traveled the same distance. Without the picture, we can represent the distance traveled by Lexi from Derek's house as negative 3, while the distance of Mark is positive 3, and Derek's house as 0. Since absolute value only refers to the distance of the number from 0, then the absolute value of negative 3 is positive 3 for Lexi. And the absolute value of positive 3 is also positive 3 for Mark. From here, we can conclude that Mark and Lexi both travel the same distance from Derek's house. Are you now getting a clearer view of the concept of absolute value? Okay, that's great. Okay, so let's have some more examples. Number one, find the absolute value of 6 and negative 6. Let's look at this number line. In thinking about the absolute value of a number, one only asks how far, not in which direction. Therefore, the absolute value of 6 and of negative 6 is the same which is 6 because both numbers have the same distance from 0. In symbols, we can write it as absolute value of positive 6 is equal to 6 and the absolute value of negative 6 is also equal to 6. Moreover, two integers that are the same distance from 0 in opposite directions are called opposites. The integers positive 6 and negative 6 are opposites since they are both 6 units from 0. Number 2. Simplify the negative absolute value of 5. Take note that we have a negative sign outside the absolute value symbol. So, what we're going to do first is to find the absolute value of 5 and that is 5. Then take the negative of 5. Thus, the negative absolute value of 5 is negative 5. Number 3. Simplify the negative absolute value of negative 8. Following the steps we did in example number 2, we find first the absolute value of negative 8, and that is positive 8. Then take the negative of 8. Thus, the negative absolute value of negative 8 is negative 8. Let's have example number 4. Find the absolute value of positive 3, negative 3, positive 7, negative 5, positive 9, negative 8, positive 4, and negative 4. You may refer to the number line below. You must always remember that when we are talking about the absolute value of a number, we are just referring to the distance of that number from 0. Hence, the absolute value of 3 is equal to 3. The absolute value of negative 3 is equal to 3. 
the absolute value of positive 7 is equal to 7, the absolute value of negative 5 is equal to 5, the absolute value of positive 9 is equal to 9, the absolute value of negative 8 is equal to 8, the absolute value of positive 4 is equal to 4, and the absolute value of negative 4 is equal to 4. Number 5. Use the number line below to find the value of n, where the absolute value of n is equal to 5.1. This problem asks us to find all numbers that are a distance of 5.1 units from 0 on the number line. We let n represent all integers that satisfy this condition. The number positive 5.1 is 5.1 units from 0 on the number line. And the number negative 5.1 is also 5.1 units from 0 on the number line. Thus, both positive 5.1 and negative 5.1 satisfy the given condition. Good job, grade 7! And for your practice, Find the value of each expression, letter A, the absolute value of 5, letter B, the absolute value of negative 5, letter C, the absolute value of negative 0.5, letter D, the absolute value of 4.5, letter E, the absolute value of negative 9, letter F, the absolute value of 9 plus the absolute value of negative 2, letter G, the absolute value of negative 7 minus the absolute value of 3. Letter H, the absolute value of negative 10 minus the absolute value of negative 5. Letter I, the absolute value of 7 plus the absolute value of 3. And letter J, the absolute value of negative 11 minus the absolute value of negative 6 plus the absolute value of 0. That ends our lesson today. We hope you learned something. See you on our next episode, Kakut Angels. Keep safe!